Good morning, everybody. Good morning, my Mystic Tribe. Hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. This is a daily reading, and I have decided that I am going to go back and I'm going to do each sign. I can't do this all the time, but I have time this morning, and this is going to be a timeless reading. I am not going to date this, it's just so you know. And it can relate to general life or love life. And all the time stamps for each individual sign will be listed below. And I will start out, as always, with a general message for the collective. And then we will get into each sign. Okay, let's see what our overall energy is for the next day or two. Okay, let's see. Okay, show the world the real you. The message that I get is stop hiding, stop pretending. Sometimes, excuse me for the arm, sometimes we tend to hide ourselves, um, hibernate. Or we try to be something that we are not. And sometimes we try to be like someone else. Like kind of like you, you have a best friend or a cousin or a sister. And you try to mimic and be them. And you're not them. You can never be them. And Spirit is saying, you know, show the world the real you. They will love you for who you are. A time for healing. Okay. You know, if you've been hurt, you know, we've all been hurt, right? Maybe this is a time to heal our souls and heal our spirits. It's a time to um, let our inner light shine. Heal from within outwards. From within outwards. And as you're healing... Bring the real you out. Show the world who you are, not who you try to portray. Not your neighbor, not your sister, not your brother, not your best friend. Be you. Okay? So now we will go ahead and get into each individual sign. Okay, we are going to start with Aries. I did do some pre-shuffling, and these are going to be speed reads, by the way. Okay, you have the Prince of Cups. Eight of Swords. And the Six of Cups. Okay, Aries, what I get for you is... That your energy is maybe healing from a situation and escaping. Okay. We have been caught up in our areas. You've been caught up in your head. You've been. Maybe you've been manipulated or. Fell in the trap of somebody coming to you with the six of cups. With a lot of emotions, a lot of memories. This does feel like an X. And this is about escaping, getting out of your head about this X, seeing things clearly. Maybe you felt trapped. And this person has a way of sm trying to smooth things over. They are a smooth talker. So you're dealing with a smooth talker from the past who's trying, who keeps you trapped in your head where you've been unable to move on. Now, Spirit is saying it's time to heal that situation. It's time to show the world the real, real you. To come out, be that real fiery sign that you are. To take control. To have that structure. And escape this. You may have been under somebody's thumb that really was dominating. And now I feel like this is cutting the ties and escaping okay these are my, your messages aries bye taurus you're on 
Let's see what we have for Taurus. Okay, we are starting out with strength. That is Leo energy. That could be showing some restraint or having inner strength to deal with a situation. Six of Pentacles. I feel like that there is some kind of uneven give and take here. Something that is requiring inner strength at this time. Death, Scorpio energy. So I feel as though that gives that a situation that you are dealing with, Taurus, is coming to an end. And it's funny, we, we're not too far from... We are in Libra season right now, and next comes Scorpio, okay? You know, in the upcoming weeks, there is something that you have been giving to that is ending. Or somebody that you're dealing with that was giving to a situation, maybe even given to a relationship with you, might be ending, and it is going to require some inner strength. Okay? I'm hearing you might have to show some restraint to keep from chasing. Because there's this energy that you're going to want to chase this person. You want to pull them back in. Um, you don't want to lose. I don't know where that's coming from. But money might even be the central issue of what's going on with you and this person as well. But there's definitely some kind of ending of a give and take here. Somebody is not going to be giving to a situation anymore. And it is going to require a lot of inner strength to deal with it and to overcome and to heal from the situation. Okay? But that's what I have for you, Taurus. Bye. Hello, Gemini. You're on board. You're up. Let's see what messages we have. Oh, we have the Emperor Aries energy that turned over immediately. King of Wands. I hear I'm hearing growth and evolution. Two of Pentacles. Okay. Who's the real man? It's what I'm hearing. The Two of Pentacles is a balancing act. Okay. And it I'm getting that there may that there is some sense of authority that might be questioned. I'm getting like following your passions, maybe even going against the norm, okay? Doing this balancing act, trying to make a choice or a decision, and you just keep going round and round and round with this decision. It's like an, a, a vicious cycle here. You may have a choice between two men or two masculines. If you are a masculine, you could be making a choice because there might be another masculine involved with your person, or this could be between two job offers as well. However, it resonates, okay? If you're a woman, you might be choosing between two jobs or two men. Both seem to be very fiery. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We've got um, Aries right here, okay? But this, it seems like you're dealing with either a choice between two or a choice about somebody who is gung-ho on control. And you might be being called to get your own control back. Your own, like, take a control of yourself and not letting yourself be ruled by somebody else. So there are a couple different scenarios here. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. But you're definitely dealing with a choice or a decision. Okay, that's what I have for you, Gemini. Bye. Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your daily reading. Let's see what messages we have for you today. You're on board. Okay, we do have the Six of Wands. Very good. We have a positive outcome. We have some success here. Maybe being recognized for your effort. Being in the spotlight is what I hear. So, Cancer, you might be in the spotlight in the next day or two. Seven of Wands over a battle that you have been fighting. 
It is like everybody was against you and you are warding them off. This is warding off the enemies and being successful. Beautiful energy. So you might have some things that you're dealing with. But you are going to... This looks like success. The Empress. Oh. Okay. Gemini Taurus energy. So you have... Finally found your value and your worth, Cancer. You know what you have to bring to the table. You are dominant. You, you are still yet loving and giving. Okay? Or some of you might be dealing with a mother figure. Take it as it resonates. Maybe you are having battle with a female or a mother figure. If you are masculine, this could be your mother or the mother of your children. If you're feminine, this could be your own mother or your own energy. But you are coming into your power and you're being very successful. You're being, there's abundance coming to you. You fought long and hard for it. And it's like you're getting your rewards. Okay. Oh, well, this is what I have for you, Cancer. Bye. Hello, Leo. Welcome to your daily reading. Let's see what messages and guidance, please. Spirit, do you have for Leos? What's going on for Leo over the next couple of days? Ah, you got the seven of wands, so did cancer. You've been fighting a battle. You've had a lot of opposition. A lot of people coming up against you. But you're protected. And you're standing your ground. So you might be standing your ground on a situation. That may differ. You know, like your opinion may be different. May differ from, from other people. Princess of wands. This is a new path, a new journey, and communication. So you are receiving some news in a positive nature that you are following a new passion, you're going in a new direction, and you may be communicating as well. Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This could be mother and daughter as well. There could be messages from mother and daughter that may lead you between a mother and daughter that leads to some kind of defensiveness. You might be a little bit defensive. But with that said, for some of you, after you've stood your ground and you've held your own, you're receiving some good news that is coming. Something positive that is going to kind of ground you. That you're going to have a new sense of security. Some of you might venture out as an entrepreneur. Uh, there is this sense of, I still get the sense of abundance. She is my pre-empress energy. So you're not quite an empress yet, but you're getting there. There's still this loving energy. There's still this abundance here. You're getting there. So you are making progress, Leo. Okay. So those are the messages for you, Leo. Bye. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your daily reading. We're going to see what kind of messages and guidance that we have over the next couple days for you. Okay. You have the chariot, Cancer, Cancerian energy. The, the chariot is very fast-moving energy. The chariot brings about... A sense of balance of your emotional life and progress moving forward. It brings victory to any kind of challenges. And we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here with the Queen of Wands. So right away, I get this message of having this drive. So, And I feel like you are sitting in this Queen of Wands energy. Five of Wands. Okay. You've been playing tug of war in a situation you've been battling there has been some conflicts but maybe you were having conflicts with a fire sign but it's time to leave that challenge behind this is conquering that challenge this is winning having your vision knowing what you want and going after it not letting anybody hold you back anymore you are, you're moving forward, my friend. You are moving forward. You're overcoming this challenge. And I feel like that there may even be somebody manipulating the situation. Somebody right in the center. 
causing the conflict, but it's almost like this is passing, this is going, this is moving away. Okay, so this is what I have for you, Virgo. Hi. Hello, Libra. Welcome to your daily reading. Okay, let's see what messages and God and Spirit has for my Libras, please, for the next couple of days. Messages and guidance for my Libras. You have the Four of Wands. This is stability I keep hearing. Building a foundation. You know, you are at a place where you're, you're bringing things into balance. Two of Pentacles. Balance, yes. There we go. It's echoing. You know, if you felt off kilter... If you felt, I mean, like really out of it, not knowing what direction you're going to, you're emotionally imbalanced, physically imbalanced, mentally imbalanced, you are bringing that all back in. You're finding that sense of balance. You're finding your new stability here. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you might have a water sign coming into the picture. This water sign um, is coming in with a lot of compassion all heart very i'm hearing very laid back personality somebody who's very nurturing this could also be a counselor somebody counseling you and helping you bring your your energy into balance and finding that equilibrium getting i'm hearing getting your footing back this could even be a boss who's having a little bit of compassion on your situation. But I'm feeling like also the, the King of Cups could even be an aspect that you are you are taking on yourself as in managing and bringing your emotions under control, finding that emotional balance again and being very even kilter, okay? Well, and these are the messages I have for you, Libra. Bye. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your daily reading. <clears throat> See what messages and guidance spirit has, please, for my Scorpios. What's going on with my Scorpios for the next couple of days? You have the two of wands. You're seeing your vision. You're trying to make some plans, but you might there might be a choice or a decision. You might be finding yourself at a crossroads. The magician manifestation manip or it could be oh six of cups okay there is an x in the picture here whether this is your x or your person's x okay that there seems to be an x that is in the middle of things who is manifesting a split okay that's not for everybody for some scorpios you have uh, so you have an X in the picture that is manifesting a split between you and somebody else. Okay? For other of you, Scorpios, you're at this choice and this decision that you know you need to make action regard regarding an X or somebody from your past. So there is a an X definitely here. If you're with somebody, and some of you, Scorpios, are with an X, you reunited already. If that's not who we're talking about. We're talking about somebody else. Because that X, the, if you are with an X now, that X is not technically an X anymore. Okay? So let's make that clear. This is an X that's in the picture. Somebody that you are not currently with. Or your person is not currently with. Take it as it resonates. But there is some manipulation going on. There could be somebody that manifested an X, a uh, split. Or there could be a choice between two. You may be faced with a choice between who you're with now and somebody from the past or your person is having to make a choice they're stuck in the middle between you and somebody from their past it could go a couple different ways take it as it resonates however whatever role you play you may even be the ex that is trying to manifest a split between somebody from your past and who they are currently with so however this resonates but that's what i have for you bye Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your daily reading. <clears throat> we'll get your messages and guidance for the next couple of days. Oh, 
Ooh, okay. We have the Four of Cups that popped up. The Four of Cups is talking about dissatisfaction. It could be boredom. But this is about not being happy where you're at emotionally. Um, maybe an offer coming forth that you, you're like, no, this is not for me. The Strength card, Leo Energy. So you might be needing some strength or some inner strength to deal with this. It's like somebody coming to you with the same old bullshit. And there needs to be a show of restraint is what I'm hearing. It's just like, let this cup pass me. Okay. Uh, and you're dealing with something that it's like a cycle that doesn't end. There's like feeling like this emotional stagnation, feeling stuck. And it's almost like a little bit of depression here that you need to have that inner strength to overcome. Okay. And we have the four of pentacles. Okay. Now this makes total sense here. You are stuck, Sagittarius. I'm sorry. You are holding on to something from the past and thinking from the past. Holding on to emotional baggage that, you know, somebody keeps coming up around offering you their cup. But it's a lot of empty promises. These cups are empty here. Empty promises. And it's like hook, line, and sinker. They keep on drawing you in. And it's now time. It's like Spirit is saying, you need to heal this from this situation once and for all. You need to show a little bit of restraint and not jumping at this offer anymore. Okay? Release. It's time to release this past situation and end this cycle. And that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Bye. <clears throat> Hello Capricorn, this is your daily reading for the next couple days. See what messages and guidance spirit has for my Cappies. This card once told me to pull this card out. We have the Prince of Pentacles. The Prince of Pentacles is the same as the Knight in other decks. This is slow, steady progress. You are on the move. You are moving forward. You are making changes in your life. They're slow changes though. And they're reliable. The Prince of Pentacles is the most reliable, loyal, steady knight in the deck. But he's very slow. This could be your energy You're moving slowly. And we have the Six of Pentacles. Finances. Okay, give and take, paying bills, money coming in. So it's been a slow, long road, but you're finally in a place of balance, balance being restored, and you've persevered something. You've persevered to a lack of money. You moved out of the five and into the six, okay? So whatever you are working on, there's progress being made. In love and romance, this could be Somebody coming to you who is loyal, faithful, steady, slow-moving energy that is willing to put in the work on like an even playing field here. Even give and take. And then we have the Hermit Virgo energy. Okay. a lot. Somebody who's very wise, who's very intelligent. Um, it's just like... Uh, so in love and romance that you might be coming out of your cave and making progress but what I'm feeling here the overall energy for most of the cappies is you've been hibernating you've been to yourself you've done a lot of soul searching and you've been, it's been a long road you've made some progress now you're coming out and you, there is an increase in abundance increase in finances for some of you this could be you entering into a connection that is an even give and take that is going to be like you and them are going to be in it for the long haul. After you've had a siesta per se, how after you've done a lot of soul searching, a lot of healing, this healing energy here, you've done a lot of inner work on yourself, Capricorn. <clears throat> and you're 
feeling a sense of balance, a sense of groundedness. So all your progress that you've made is paying off. But this is what I have for you, Capricorn. Bye. <clears throat> Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading. So we're going to get messages and guidance, please, for Aquarius for the next couple of days. You have the Five of Wands. So there's definitely a struggle that you've been dealing with or you will be dealing with. A tug of war. Six of Swords. That you are in a place where you are ready to leave this behind. Okay? The Six of Swords is a victory. It is moving on. The Six of Swords is a sense of balance, mental balance, and clarity. So you are, I feel like you are getting some mental clarity concerning a conflict that you have been dealing with. King of Wands could be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or could be with a boss, somebody in a place of authority. And I feel like that you have been struggling within this career, within this business, with your boss, your workplace. You could all, but whoever it is, some, I feel the strong sense of authority here. You may, somebody, this, if this is within your household, this is somebody who is head of the household. Okay, somebody very fiery, somebody who might be a little bit demanding. And you might be in a place where you're ready to chalk it all up and leave it behind, leave the struggles, leave the conflicts, leave the arguments behind. And move to calmer waters. But I do feel like things are calming down. You've got this. You're managing this. You are gaining a sense of self-control, control with your family, or with your in your workplace, however this resonates. But this is what I have for you, Aquarius. Bye. Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your reading. We're going to get messages and guidance for you, Pisces, for the next couple of days. See what's going on with my Pisces. You have the Ace of Cups. This is a new start, a new emotional start here. Princess of Swords. Okay. You might be see, getting some kind of clarity over a new romance that you may have been entering. This does feel like this is a new path. That there might also be some truths coming out. There could be a little bit of spying going on. King of Cups. There you are. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You might be spying on somebody that you have a romantic interest in. And you're looking and you're spying and you might be faced with some kind of reality concerning this new romance. Okay? And it is like, I, I need to show this. I didn't show this to any other signs, but I saw this, the full card underneath the deck. This is definitely a new road, a new beginning. But there seems to be a reality check. I'm hearing to not living in fantasy land. You need to stay grounded. You need to keep your emotions under control. And don't jump yet. Keep a watchful eye. Because I feel like that there is some kind of truth that is going to come out in regards to this new person that is entering your life. Okay? You might even have another water sign that's entering your life. That there might be some truths that are coming out. But the, but the Princess of Swords brings about mental clarity, brings about truths. And sometimes, you know, being a sword, it is sometimes a hard pill to swallow. So just be mindful. Keep your eyes open. Don't go into this blindly or quote-unquote foolishly. Okay, that's what I have for you. I thank you for watching. Bye.